G'day, cappers. How are we doing today? Welcome back to another episode here. We're doing a little golf talk with you. We're back. It's, uh, what do we got here? Golfing with Gogster. Yes, that's myself, guys. We're at week three here. Uh, coming off a nice winner last week. I uh, hit Davis Thompson two weeks before that with uh, Sports Money here on YouTube. We hit two first-round leaders, so we've been hot. We've been uh, hitting the last five weeks there. We've been in the black there, which is uh, which is making money, if you guys are new to what the being in the black means. But, uh, yeah, good to see you guys. Uh, it's, uh, it's a nice, uh, nice what is it, Tuesday here. We're starting early. It's a Thursday start real early in the morning there, guys. Uh, East Coast time, that's 2 in the morning. Uh, East Coast time there, so I get a little Scottish accent out because we're going over to Scotland. Uh, bad Scottish accent, but uh, yeah, this is the Scottish Open, guys. Since 2019, they played here at the Renaissance Renaissance Club. Uh, Tom Doak design, par 70, 7,237 yards. Not as many par 5s. It's all around the greens here, guys. If anytime you're playing link style, whenever, and we're going over to Europe, especially Scotland, flat, but with... The hills undulating, uh, what do they call them, uh, chocolate drops, they kind of say, like little little mounds, weird little, you're not going to have many even lies here, um, and you're playing right off the, the coast, so you're going to have a lot of um, a weather is going to be a factor, we'll talk about the weather here coming up here, but uh, yeah, welcome to the links guys, home of golf, as we like to say, sandy, uneven lies, tons of slope, as I was saying guys, around the green, sea coast, uh, narrowed fairways, so these fairways are going to be a little bit narrowed, and this is one of the biggest courses where you have to be in the in the fairway or else you're going to be in that rough and you're not going to be able to spin the ball and you're going to be uh more likely than not rolling off but the weather is going to kind of kind of favor players i would say that um oh did i just delete something oh, there we go <laughs> it's going to favor players that uh can really ball strike because if there wasn't as much i'll get to it right now for you guys it's, it's the rain there, there's off and on rain all week here over in Scotland, uh, 50 to 60 percent Thursday, 20 to 30 Friday, 40 to 60 Saturday, then 30 to 50 Sunday. Here's the thing: the wind is going to be very. There's not going to be much wind, so that tells you right there if it's going to be a chance of a little bit of rain and not much wind, it's not going to dry out very fast. And listen to this weather uh, Celsius here: it's a 12 to 15. But for everyone uh, in the states, Fahrenheit that's 53 to 60 Fahrenheit. Like, it's not going to be very warm over there this this week. It's going to be playing uh, pretty soft too with the, the wetter conditions. So I think the scores are going to be a little bit uh, lower this week. So I think we can see possibly minus 15 win it. Uh, ben On has the lowest 18 hole score here last year. He uh, I think he shot a 62. So that's eight under. Um, so it is a tough course. It's all around the green, guys. You have so much slope. So uh, center of the green is going to be fine this week. It's position golf. So if you put yourself in a you know dead spots as I like to say this is me on the weekend uh, you put yourself in a bad spot say behind the green with the with the back pin and it's going to slope uh, from from uh, back to front you're not going to be able to hold that green because there's just there's so much slope on these greens guys it's quite wild so uh, one of the stats we are going to look at is going to be three putt avoidance because with all those dips and dives this is one of the toughest courses for five feet uh, five feet in so those little you know those ones you, you say are good to your buddies. Uh, this is the week you're going to see a lot of them probably miss these ones, or at least there's a good chance you're going to miss them from um, just those those five foot uh, those five foot ranges. So we'll get to we'll get to three foot avoidance for you guys. A bunch of stats we'll get into here. Uh, last week though, yeah, David Thompson that's back to back winners uh, for the Davis uh, clan. Cam Davis the week before, and then Davis Thompson. So is there any Davises in this this week? Let's just uh, yeah, there's a couple, but I don't think Davis is going to win it three times in a row. Uh, Cam or um, Davis Thompson. Even though Davis Thompson, he is uh, he ranks quite high right now in our stats. Uh, one of the, one of the hotter golfers in in, uh, in the PGA right now. So, without uh, speaking too much more on um, on uh, the, the what how would I say this the, the 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 information I guess you could say uh, that I just gave you guys with the weather uh, position golf. This is going to be you know 2019 the same golf course link style. Uh, minus 15 possibly uh, you're gonna have to putt though team uh, team no putt as they like to say is uh, is gonna be in trouble this week because <laughs> those five footers are not gonna be easy so let's get into it guys let's, uh, let's get the filters going here so we'll start off with average strokes gain in the last 20 rounds what do you guys want uh, I'll give you uh, what do we do here let's go top 15 here so top 15 uh, strokes gained in the last 20 rounds 
There's Alexander Shoffle, uh, Rory McIlroy, Colin Morikawa, Davis Thompson. Uh, quite a, a, a dip, too, guys, between those top three, Alexander, Rory, and Colin, all gaining at least three strokes in the last 20 rounds. Next closest is 2.37, which is Davis Thompson. Next up is Ludwig Eberg. Uh, we all know Ludwig, um, a young and up-and-comer stud here, uh, playing quite good. Uh, quite, uh, He's playing well, good golf. Uh, good golf. Corey Connors, guys, can't putt. But he is uh, gaining 2.13 strokes gained uh, in his last 20 rounds. Aaron Rybred, Hideki Matsuyama, Tommy Fleetwood, Justin Thomas, Sung J M, Tom Kim, Brian Harmon, Victor Hovland, which is surprising because uh, this guy is around the green game, is next to dead last. Shots gained around the green for uh, Victor, 174th uh, so far in the PGA, guys. That is, that is not good this week. Unless he's going to ball strike the hell of it, which... Being softer conditions, that's going to help a guy like Victor, where he's not going to worry about so many runoffs, I think, with the softer conditions. But going to be tough for Team No Putt. Uh, or, or, sorry, uh, No around the green this week. Uh, Minwoo Lee is going to round that off, too, guys, for the top 15 shots gained in the last 20 rounds. Who's played really well at this renaissance? Since we have stats from uh, 2019 onward, guys, so a smaller sample size, but we can at least see who has been playing this course quite well. Let's get to the top 15 again here. Tom Kim, number one, actually, 2.47. Bien on, Xander Shoffley, Tommy Fleetwood, Max Homa, Lee Hodges, Rory McIlroy, Wyndham Clark, Andrew Putnam, Matt Fitzpatrick, Robert McIntyre, who is a local native of Scotland. So, uh, and he actually won this year at my Canadian Open. Uh, could be live. Uh, ben Griffin, Nikolai Hoegaard, Thomas Dietrich, and Jordan Spieth. Now, I am going to be feeding a couple of those players. Yes, they, they played this track well before, guys, but their golf game isn't in very good. Uh, it's not in good shape right now. And uh, if you don't have, a, like I said, that around the green here, even a, 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 a good putter, yeah, right. I, I just I don't see it this week. So um, let's, go, let's keep the stats coming for you guys here. I want to give you guys uh, just all the information you need for fantasy, whatever it may be, uh, picking out right winners, matchup bets. I got all those picks coming up. I just want to go over some more stats for you guys. Before we close it out here, uh, ball striking. This is going to be imperative, I think. If you're a good ball striker, you're going to just stay out of the rough. I was saying earlier, guys, you have to hit the fairways here. If you don't hit the fairways, you're not going to be able to really hold the greens, give yourself many birdie looks with all the slope. Uh, you're just you're not going to get bad shots. Uh, don't get rewarded. Good shots do get rewarded. Some of these these weaker golf courses, like we've seen in the last few weeks, you can get away with some bad golf shots. Not so much here on this link style. So, number uh, let's go over again. Top 15 for you guys. Uh, ball striking. We got number one, Xander. I think Xander he should be the favorite this week. Uh, next, I could see Rory, but this guy's numbers. He's just playing unbelievable golf. Third ball striking right now. I'll just break down uh, all my key stats I'm looking for. Alexander, guys, third in ball striking, second in bo bogey avoidance. You need to be strong around the greens. Bogey avoidance is key. Shots gained around the green, 28th, and then three putt avoidance. He's 12th. Put Tie that in with your third in ball striking. He likes this place, too. He's one here. Yeah, Alexander, I, uh, I'll break it to you guys now. I didn't take him out right because he's 9-1, to one, but I got him in a top 10, minus 110. Uh, that's including ties, so... Um, I, I, it's hard to see Alexander not, even if he has his, his average game, he should at least be in the top 10 here. Uh, Corey Connors, from the fourth in ball striking. Ludwig Ebert, um, Keith Mitchell, Bien On, Aaron Rye, Eric Van Roy, and Jordan Spieth, uh, Thigala, Davis Thompson, Victor Hovland, Sepp Straka, Rory McIlroy, and Tommy Fleetwood are all uh, the premier uh, ball strikers this week, which for the most part, one of those guys probably going to win it it's just going to come down to their around the green game so let's get to some of the around the green here for you guys um number one Hideki Hideki's number one around the green this guy's just a master master class Hideki Matsuyama 67th ball striking 11th in bogey avoidance first as I said around the green but this is his one issue uh three point avoidance for Hideki 122nd so and with it being those five footers that are going to be really key this week some of the tougher uh, five footers you're going to see all year he's 122nd a little bit nervous there um so we did not we took him out of our outrights and our first round leaders i do believe uh he could be uh used in matchup bets this week but i think that uh same with this next guy i'll get to here i think the three point's going to hurt him that's justin thomas guys justin thomas uh he's third around the green 51st in bogey avoidance 79th in ball striking but then again 157th in three putt avoidance that's not good enough to 
if you got a top 20 on him, I can see you sweating that out. Just uh, he, You're going to need to have that. You need to be able to three-putt. You need that around the green and three-putt avoidance. It's kind of like Cam Smith, guys. You don't got to... Now, you do want to hit the fairways here. There are kind of tighter fairways. It's not like uh, not like the old course where it's just you know wide open, but you need to have that around the green, around the, um, green game this week. Uh, number th- uh, three and around the green is Davis Thompson, guys. He's fifth, 17th in ball striking, 33rd bo- bogey avoidance, 61st in three-putt avoidance. I wouldn't be fading this guy. Um, he didn't make my first-round leaders or outright bets, but... You know, Davis Thompson is playing some really good golf. Just going to be tough traveling, I think, all the way. You know, after that big win, uh, you know, what, a day or two rest, and then you're getting right back on it. It's either going to go really well or really bad, I think, for Davis Thompson. So I did not pick Davis Thompson. This next golfer, though, guys, he's 12th around the green, third in bogey avoidance, 64th ball striking, 70th in uh, three-putt avoidance. And he likes this course, too. Well, actually, he's played... He's, I would say, average right now, but he's a, a European golfer, Swedish golfer, and that is Alex Noren, Noren as they like to call him over there. Um, I like Alex Noren this week, guys. It's going to be colder, too. The, the conditions are perfect for, for European-style golfers, I think, this week. I really do, especially with the Open the following week. Guys like Alex Noren, this feels like the perfect opportunity for him. Um, all of his keys, his stats kind of, uh, he's fourth. In my combination stats too. So when I put all those together, um, he is sorry fifth, just behind Xander, Tommy, Rory, and Aaron Rye. So I think uh, Alex Noren, guys, he's seventy-five to one. So he's definitely making the card here, seventy-five to one. Uh, also have Noren uh, first round leader seventy to one, and then we're gonna have him in a couple matchup bets here. Um, I believe so. I'll get to those at the end of the show, guys. Just have him on a different page. So. We'll keep going with some some more uh, golfers that we're looking at here. Uh, Aaron Rye. I, I talked about Aaron Rye, guys. I don't think he's going to win. Oh, actually, sorry. Sorry, let me hold back on that. I don't have him first-round leader. I think he has a chance to win at this track. Why? Two gloves right away, guys. Only golfer that has two gloves. And if it's going to be raining a little bit cold, that's exactly what you like. He, some of these guys in these warmer conditions, when it gets below you know, 50 degrees, you start to lose a little bit of feeling, especially if you're not used to these colder conditions coming over um, from the 30, you know, from the near 90 Fahrenheit we have over here right now. So Aaron Rye, he's uh, he's played a lot of golf, but he's 11th in ball striking, 4th in bogey avoidance, 57th in around the greens, and then 70th in three-putt avoidance. He's going to get there. He, he's above average in uh, ball striking, He's got a decent enough putter, and he's playing some of the best golf he's played in a while. His number is 50-1, to 1, which is quite low, but for good reason. The track fits him, and he's playing some really good golf right now, guys. So Aaron Rye is also going to make the card here. Um, next one here, I kind of skipped over him. That's Tommy Fleetwood. He is 24-1, to 1, but if you guys know Tommy, the only place he really wins is not over here in American soil or Canadian soil, however you want to say it. It's over in Europe and uh, overseas is where he starts to play really well. His, his numbers are just, it's perfect for him. The conditions, I think, an English-style golfer, he's 30th in ball striking, 9th in bogey avoidance, 25th in shots gained around the green, and then 49th three-putt avoidance. He's going to be there, guys. Is he going to win? I'll, I'll take a stab on old Tommy Boy here, 24-1, to 35-1 to first-round leader, and we have some matchup bets just to close up the show for you guys as well. I'm going to speed it up here because we've been going a little longer than I wanted. Uh, Billy Horschel. I'm taking a shot on Billy. We're taking some bombs this week, guys, just because it's the week before a major... I think some of these longer 50 to 100 uh, to 1 in, in a big uh, elevated event too, I think that's where we're going to see uh, see some of these longer shots. So Billy Horschel, guys, 80 to 1, uh, playing some decent golf right now. Uh, if I look at his key stats that we've been talking about here, ball striking 92nd, bogey avoidance 26th, shots getting around the green 60th, but th- uh, three-putt avoidance, he's fifth. And also Billy, guys, he plays really well in England. He, he has a... His putter is above average. He's gonna he's gonna gain strokes, I think, on the field this week, and he's been playing some pretty decent golf. So put that together, I think we're getting great value, just like Norin. Uh, we're getting eighty to one on Billy Horschel, and then first round really first round leader uh, on Billy is seventy to one as well. A couple more here to close it out here. Uh, who have I not talked about? Uh, Brian Harmon. Brian Harmon, guys, again, you need that around the green and you need to have a hot putter. This guy has all that. That's his game is the around the green and the, and the putter. And what did he do last year? We had him actually, guys, 150 to 1. He won the Open. So, And it was in what was the conditions? Kind of just like they're going to be this week. Kind of wet, damp, kind of cooler conditions, not as much wind. 
I think Brian Harmon is going to be right for the taking, guys. Now, he is 112th ball striking, but the closer he gets to the green, the better he is. 46th bogey avoidance, 49th in shots getting around the green, then 26th in three-putt avoidance. So, I'm a big fan of Harmon. His number is a little bit lower than I would like, 45-1. to 1. But we're going to take a shot with Brian Harmon, 50 to 1 as well, first round leader. Uh, I think I got a couple more for you guys before we close it out. Robert McIntyre, I'm taking a shot with the Scott. Um, lost to Rory in this event, I believe it was this one, last year. Just a real heartbreaker, too. He was right there. Uh, but he's already got a win this year. Should know this course back of his hand. Conditions are right for him. Probably the only guy with a t shirt in these conditions, Robert McIntyre. Uh, just loves it. Um, so we're taking him 55 to 1 on Robert McIntyre. And we're also taking uh, Matt Wallace, guys, another Englishman here, uh, guy overseas in Europe, loves the, the tougher conditions, going to be a little wet, uh, really good ball striker, Matt Wallace is, where is he here, 110 to 1, I can't believe that number, that's a good value, guys, in my opinion, 97th ball striking, 58th bogey avoidance, 24th around the green, and 65th three-putt avoidance, that's a guy that should be ranked, I'd say, like 70 to 1, he should be closer to the... Uh, to the Horschel number, I think. So 110 to 1 on, on uh, Matt Wallace, guys. I would use him this week. Uh, I'm taking him 110 to 1 on an outright there just to sprinkle a couple bucks there. McDonald's money, as we like to say. Uh, then Matt Wallace, first round leader, 90 to 1 as well. Um, that's all the first round leaders and outrights for you guys. We're going to close it out here with some matchup bets and uh, to make the cup parlay. Always fun to do those make the cup parlays. So uh, let's get into it here. Also, guys, Gokster99, check me out there on Twitter. That's where we're going to see all of our picks. Uh, as, as, as well as our guy Mike Mike Money, Mikey M there, that's a pimp slot play of the day. He's on Twitter as well. That's where you can see uh, the guy who's uh, pretty much running this channel right here over at Sports Money. So, um, yeah, and be sure to check out uh, Pug Sports Radio as well, guys. Um, similar to um, Sports Money, uh, just a great group of gamblers that you guys can check out with daily shows as well. So, uh, let's get into it here. Matchup bets here. Rye over on, Fleetwood over Hovland, Norn over on as well. We're fading on, can't putt. Uh, McCarthy over Mitchell, Van Royen over Dietrich. That's going to be 72 holes. And then 18 hole three ball. So this is going to be the, um, not not matchup bets, but this is pretty much your three, your pairing. You got three guys in a group, uh, a little bit better odds here. So we got seven three balls for you guys to close it out. Thomas over Hoygaard and Fox, plus 150. Harmon over Straka and Manasaro, plus 137. Putnam over Juice Luton, as we like to call him, and Shinquin, uh, plus 160. Rye over Echeverria. And Kusad, uh, Van Royen over Law and Forstrom. Some guys that just are not playing good golf. I like the take in there. Minus 110, minus 105 for those. Horschel over Glover and Harrington, plus 125. And then Norrin over Afi Barnrat and Winther at minus 105. Make the cup parlay, guys. Robert McIntyre, Aaron Rye, Brian Harmon, Hideki Matsuyama, and Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Fleetwood, plus 137. Sorry, plus 373. And we're getting two units on that. So check out all the units, guys, all the picks, all the odds at uh, Gokster99 there. And uh, best of luck with your action. We'll see you guys next week with the Open Championship. Till then, be good, guys.